Now let's continue with the scientists and their contributions. So these days they can ask who found what, which scientists found what, or you know, father of microbiology, father of modern microbiology, these type of questions can be asked. So now let's start. First one is a hero. He is real hero, Louis Pasteur. Louis Pasteur is basically handsome guy, this macho guy. You see here, this macho guy without any specs, white color beard, and he's looking very, you know, very uh, rough and tough type. So when you see this picture and they tell you to identify who is this, this is Louis Pasteur. So he is the father of microbiology, father of microbiology, right? So you got this. So how to remember? There are a few things he found. So what is this picture? Why is Louis Pasteur here? Who is this guy here? Car wash. What is doing? Okay. Uh, Louis Pasteur, the shortcut to remember is that Louis Pasteur gives his car for liquid wash. Very, very simple. Okay. What does this mean? G for, G for, G stands for germ theory. He found the germ theory. He found the germ theory. Germ theory was invented by question. Who invented the germ theory? Louis Pasteur. Right? First question. Now, what does V stands for? V stands for vaccination. He invented the vaccine. I, I mean, vaccination for which which disease is car, 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 right? C for cholera, and A for anthrax, and R for rabies. R for rabies. Got it? So this is a question. Who invented vaccination? He, our Louis Pasteur, right? And what does the S stands for? Yes, yes for S for. Can you tell me? Can you guess? Okay, yes, for sterilization. All your sterilization. Sterilization means your autoclave, uh, all your uh, hot air oven, all those things. Okay, these things were uh, sterilization process was invented by, again, which one you are? Louis Pasteur. And liquid wash, L for L. You know, Louis Pasteur, liquid wash. Also, you can remember in case if you forget. Liquid media was invented by him. Liquid media was invented by, liquid media was also invented by a Louis Pasteur. That's it. Very simple. Louis Pasha, remember car wash, bus, that's it, car wash. He gives, gives, G-I-V-E-S, gives his car for liquid wash, bus, oh yeah. You'll get, easily you can score this, so you'll not miss anything here, okay? He's a father of microbiology, done, okay? Now, let's go to the next one. Now, uh, the Robert Koch now, now comes the Robert Koch. Robert Koch, you see, why I put this Robert Koch and then this picture, what does it mean? See, this is a, Robert Koch is father of, Modern microbiology. First of all, he's a father of modern microbiology. And how to remember picture? May I put confused? No, Jaiga. Yeah, Louis Pasteur or Robert Koch. Hai. Dekho. Robert Koch may there are two O's. Hai na? Two O. Your two O ka combine karo, specs ho jaiga, right? It becomes like a Mahatma Gandhi specs. So, same way, our Robert Koch is wearing the specs. So, any picture like this, who is, you know, a little bit uh, old and wearing the round color round shape uh, specs, then that is a Robert Koch. Okay, so don't forget. And what about Robert Koch? Robert Koch, you remember the shortcut is to remember this cat hanging. This stained cat is hanging from the solid roof. So what does it mean? Stain. So he's the one, for Robert Koch is the one who invented the staining technique, you can say. He's the one who invented the staining technique. What about C? He invented, he invented, what are the things he invented? C-H-O-L-E-R-E, cholera, and he invented anthrax, and he invented TB, microbacterium tuberculosis, TB, cat. And he invented the hanging drop. He invented the hanging drop, hanging drop, very easy. And then what is this? Solid media. He invented the solid media. Liquid media was by Louis Pasteur. Your solid media was invented by a Robert Koch. Right? Very simple. This can't be more simple than this. Okay? So please, no mistakes in these questions. Okay? Now let's go to Robert Cox postulate. Cox postulate, yes. How to remember the Cox postulate? It's very, very, very simple. It looks like five points, but it's not difficult. You have to only know the concept. Let's say any microbe, koibi micro, bacteria, or any microbe, they cause a lesion. A lesion motai, right? Lesion. So what happened? This is the first one. Now this lesion say you are doing a, this is the first point, right? Second point from the lesion. You're growing a culture. You're growing a culture. Okay. Then what happened? You have the culture. When you culture it, you have the colony. Colony grows. Right? You're able to isolate the organism. That means you're able to isolate the organism. Now, from this culture colony, you inject. This is the this is first one. This is the second one. Third one, colony grows. The bacteria grows in the culture media. Then from that colony, you pick it and put it inside the lab animal. 
when you put it in the lab animal, you should get the lesion again. The lesion, the same lesion should produce again. Okay, lab animal. Tisra, again from this lesion, if you're culturing, you are you should be able to get the organism again. The bacteria or organism, whatever causing, that should be isolated. Bas, oh yeah, very simple. Right, lesion, bacteria, lesion, cause, cause, cause. Lesion, up culture, karo, growth, aa jayega. Then, usi growth se colony se ab lab animal ko implant karo. Us animal ko lesion aa jayega. Then, usi lesion se again you take and make a culture, and the organism will be isolated. Very simple. What else you want? This much only you have to remember. Okay, got it. Now, the fifth point is simply a gene theory. That means every microorganism has a, uh, a genetic concept. Every microorganism has a gene, right? Gene is the one that is representing the bacteria, everything. This gene, genetic, bus. Five postulates, okay? Cox, five postulates, ho gaya. It na hai, right? Now, let's go. That's the uh, Cox ka, fifth one is the modern postulate, right? That's the important one. Okay. Uh, uh, gene isolated with the disease. Now, Paul Ehrlich, yeah. Paul Ehrlich is, is another important uh, question and very easy to remember. You know, Paul Ehrlich means he is the father of chemotherapy. There are two Pauls. One Paul Ehrlich either Agia who found the chemotherapy, but there is one more Paul also. Who is that one more Paul? You remember? Paul Bunnell test where Paul Bunnell test is for infectious mononucleosis. That is Epstein Barr virus. Epstein Barr virus ka. This is infectious mononucleosis. Mononucleosis. Okay, got it? Right. Infectious mononucleosis. Now Anton von Leeuwenhoek. What about Anton von Leeuwenhoek? Anton von Leeuwenhoek. He invented what? Your simple microscope. The regular microscope. He invented the regular microscope. Ernest Ruska, E for E for electron microscope. Electron microscope. Electron microscope. So simple. See, microbiology is totally fun. It's all up to you how you're taking it. I would say you don't have to use your brain for microbiology also. I mean, everything is a concept. Everything is a fun. Everything is crazy in micro. So just take like that. Okay. Got it? Now, what is the next one we are going to see? After that, the next one is, ah, now we'll talk about the uh, Erna, uh, Edward Jenner. Edward Jenner, everybody knows. What is Edward Jenner? What did he found? Edward Jenner? Edward Jenner? Can you remember? Can you say something? Which vaccine? Smallpox vaccine. Yes, smallpox vaccine. He invented the smallpox vaccine. Wow, it's fun. Edward Jenner's for small person. You can't forget it. You have to remember it. Okay. Alexander Fen Fleming, of course, penicillin. Penicillin. Okay, Alexander Fleming, Nobel Prize for penicillin. And Joseph Lister. Joseph Lister, you know, every surgery people should remember this. Who is the father of antiseptic surgery? Antisepsis or antisepsis surgery? Doesn't matter. Both are same. He is the father of antiseptic surgery. See, Lister. So, what is Lister? Kya hai? Listerine. Listerine mouthwash is an antiseptic, right? So, that's the idea. Lister, Listerine. Listerine came up to that. So, that's the antiseptic, right? So, this is the antisepsis. And the father of antiseptic surgery, right? Now, Caribbean Mullis. Caribbean Mullis is the one who invented the PCR, okay, polymerase chain reaction or popular reaction today was invented by this guy, Caribbean Mullis. Okay, that's it. So, this is another thing you have to know. Now, the next one is next one we are going to talk is, yeah, yeah, next one. Now, let's go to our way of microbes. Each microbe, this is just a basic uh, description. Maybe you can have one or two questions from here. What is the bacteria? The virus is acellular, you know, bacteria is prokaryote. Bacteria is prokaryote. Fungi and parasites are eukaryote. Eukaryotes, you know that one, okay? Prokaryote, eukaryote. And there is no nucleus in virus. There's no, no cell. Bacteria means just a nuclear material we have. It's not proper nucleus. But here you have a proper nucleus with a nuclear membrane and everything, okay? Then DNA, RNA. Virus is DNA, RNA. But in bacteria, fungi, all of these things, they have both DNA plus RNA. All, okay? Here also same. DNA plus RNA. Ribosome is a question. The ribosome of bacteria is usually, how much it is? It is usually 50 and 30 years. But for fungi and parasite, it is, you know, 60 and 40 years. That's it. Okay. Cell membrane. Cell membrane is simple. Cell membrane in a bacteria, nothing special. Nothing special. Just cell membrane is present. That's it. But in your, in your, Fungi, what happened? You have ergosterol, ergosterol, because many of the drugs act on ergosterol, antifungal drugs. Okay, so ergosterol. Here we have cholesterol. Parasite has simply cholesterol. That's it. Important is cell wall. Cell wall, again, repeatedly what? We have what? We have, we have, what is that? 
peptidoglycan yes peptidoglycan which is thick in the gram positive and thin in the gram negative that you know but in uh, uh, fungi what we have chitin we have the substance called chitin chitin also in a diagnostic purpose it's important okay whereas in uh, uh, in parasite nothing is there it's the cell wall is just simply you know uh, not much significant now the normal flora normal flora you guys must be knowing i'm sure what are the normal floras you guys know so uh, skin skin whatever flora you have you know that staphylococcus aureus aureus and staphylococcus epidermidis epidermidis which is very common one in the skin oropharynx it is streptococcus viridens streptococcus viridens normal flora vagina is important this question is important vagina which is that one lacto bacilli lactobacilli which is the reason main reason for the acidic ph of vagina is because of this only lactobacilli so other name for this is called dodderlin dodderlin's bacilli dodderlin's bacilli dodderlin's bacilli that was also question asked okay and in cs of uh, blood and stomach no bacteria they are very sterile there is no any bacteria that's what would be even one bacteria in, in any of this uh, thing you have to be very suspicious that some infection is there okay that way okay got it Let's go to biochemical test now. Biochemical test, you can have a picture and directly they'll ask you. So you have a bubbles here. So what do you think? If there's a bubble, that means, that means what? If there's a bubbles or positive, so that is catalase positive. Catalase positive. Catalase is you're just adding a 3% H2O2. You're mixing this 3% H2O2 with a colony. And then if you see the bubbles or effervescence, we call it as bubbles or effervescence, then it is catalase positive. Okay, that's it. So catalase co positive organisms, the shortcut is, you see cat in places. You see the cat in places. So what are the places? Shortcut is places. Cat is for cat is in all places. You can see cat sare jaga dek sakti ho. Sare billi ko sare jaga street mein, house mein, everywhere you can see, right? So P, P for uh, pseudomonas. Pseudomonas is catalyst positive. And L, L for your listeria. L for, L for, L for listeria. Listeria. And A for, A for, uh, A for what is that? Aspergillus, this is fungi. Aspergillus, also catalyst positive and candida also catalyst positive. Okay, remember, these are two are fungi, but yeah, still they are catalyst positive. These two are important. Frequently asked question is E and S. They are repeated. E for all enterobacteriaceae, enterobacteriaceae, all enterobacteriaceae means your uh, E. coli, Klebsiella, enterobacter, citrobacter, proteus, vitreus, everything comes here except, except, except which one? There is one enterobacteriaceae family which is not catalyst positive, and that is the question asked. It is your Shigella dysentery, Shigella dys dysentery type. One, Shigella descended type one. This is not catalyst positive. It's catalyst negative. That's one exception. And one more yes is your Staphylococcus. Staphylococcus also gives catalyst positive. You know that's the main thing. Catalyst positive here to Staphylococcus. Negative with the Streptococcus. And then Staphylococcus again based on coagulase positive, it becomes Staphylococcus aureus. All other uh, things are coagulase negative. Other Staphylococcus become coagulase negative. Cones we call cones. We'll talk in individual bacteria. So, for catalyst positive organism is important in one disease. Which disease? Which disease is that? Can I hear some disease name? Can I hear? Anybody? Anybody? If you're saying it is chronic granulomatous disease, you're right. CGD, that is chronic granulomatous disease. Chronic granulomatous disease. Disease. Okay. You'll see in that one. So, for that test, we have a test called nitro blue tetrasolium test. It's a pathology question, but still, if that test comes positive, it, if it turns blue color, if it turns blue color, then that is positive. If it is yellow color, that is negative. Okay. Usually, yellow is always negative, you know, only other color change that is positive. Right. So, catalyst is done. Next test. This will be direct question. Direct question. Now, you have to tell me what test is this. They'll give you in the picture and tell you identify this one. So, this is urease test. Right. It's a urease test. This is urease test. So, how to differentiate? If it is positive, what color? If it is positive, it is pink color. If it is positive, it is pink color. This is positive. Positive means pink color. Negative is yellow. Doesn't matter for us. Positive is pink color. Now, urease is. Urease is the shortcut is, you know, it's commonly asked question. Before going there, I want to stress, stress something here also. Uh, your urease positive means pink color. Negative is simple. Okay. The shortcut to remember for this um, urease for short, no, solid killing punch. Solid pro urease is a urease is a solid killing punch, right? <laughs> solid killing punch. You have to know this because questions can be asked. They can ask you exception or they can confuse you, whatever. One, 
step hello caucus again. Uh, your yes means again. Your uh, yes comes your uh, step hello caucus. And then K for Klebsiella. Klebsiella. This is important. Klebsiella is important. P for most important. Frequently asked. Proteus, Proteus, Proteus. I'll come to the Proteus once. One, one minute. Just give a second. Then urea, plasma, N for no cardia, and C for cryptococcus. This is the only fungi. Cryptococcus is the only fungi that is giving keratin positive. I'm sorry, urea is positive. And H for H pylori. H pylori also repeated question. Okay. And urea plasma, U for urea. So it's easy. You'll not forget. Proteus, why is it important? Yesterday, uh, I mean, when we were talking about these motilities, one motility called swarming. I was waiting to tell that here. Swarming motility, urea is positive, phosphate stone, phosphate stone, that is usually called what? Staghorn. Staghorn stone. These stag, phosphate stone or staghorn stone, swarming motility, and then there is seminal smell. Seminal smell. This is characteristic for whom? Our Prochita, Prochita, that is our Proteus, Proteus, Prochita. She has a swarming motility. You can remember swimming, swimming or swarming. Yes, I had to Prochita, Ek to uska stagon stone hai. swarming motility. Urea is positive, a seminal smell. It's very fishy, you know, very, the smell is very bad. Okay, so these are the futures of your Proteus. That's what I'm stressing. Anything can be asked from this uh, part, okay, Proteus. Okay, that's what I want to stress. Okay, rest all you know. You have to mug it up. Very easy. Punch, punch, give a punch. Uraceness, give a punch. Solid killing punch. Okay, that's it. Now let's go to the stains. We'll talk about the stains. We have different type of stains. Simple stain. We have simple stain and other stains. Differential and special stains. Simple stain is basically one stain. What do you do? It's a basic function in methylene blue. You use one stain and same color display. It's not that important. This is the second one. What is this you're seeing? We already discussed about it, right? So you see the background is dark. Background is dark. And the, the one you see, that's a capsule. The capsule just, you can see the capsule. That means the, the background is dark means that is the negative stain. We have a negative stain. Negative stain, we already spoke what negative is. Two Indian, two people are negative. Who are they? They are negatives for, who are those people? So negative is for capsule. First of all, capsule is stained by negative. Who are the two people? One is India Inc. India Inc. And other one is negrosin. Negrosin. We already talked about it, okay, in our previous classes. So these are the two negative people who are staining the capsule. Stain the stains the background, but not the capsule, right? Okay. Now impregnation. Impregnation means you're just impregnating with some uh, special stains, like see, silver fontana and levadity. So who who are this? Fontana, a k fontana, a k leva. Ye dono kya karta hai? They have so much. Some unprotected sex and they get what? Syphilis. Syphilis. So I mean to say, silver fontana libertida is done for spirochetes. Spirochetes. But uh, in spirochetes, may, of course, your triponema is coming there. Triponema. Triponema pallidum. So that means that causes syphilis. So they say, you know, fontana and liver have uh, unprotected sex and they get syphilis. That's it. They question them. You can get a picture like this. This silver means black color. This black color, so because whenever you see a black color like this, that is because of silver stain. The silver staining, the organism looks black in color. That's the meaning. Okay. And then uh, Leifson and Ryu. Leifson Ryu, it's easy. There's a half in the center. So that is flagella. Flagella stain. That's also a type of impregnation stain. Okay. Right. That's it. And differential stain. What are the differential stains? You know, differential stain means you were able to differentiate two different structures. What are they? They are one is your cramps. Other one is your acid fast. That is Zeal Nielsen also. You can say Zeal Nielsen. Uh, Zeal Nielsen. Other one is your Albert. Okay. Now, what is the stain? Already we just discussed. If you remember, what is that? Are you saying it as uh, Albert stain? You're right. This is Albert stain. This is Albert stain, the special stain. So this is the Cornobacterium diphtheriae, C diphtheriae. Cornobacterium diphtheriae, they have special, these touches called what? Metachromatic granules. Metachromatic granules. Granules. 
So there are three stains for staining this metachromatic granules of C. diphtheria. What are they? What are the three things? What are the three things? Okay. They are shortcut is, shortcut is what? Shortcut is panda. Okay. Shortcut is pan. P for ponders, A for Albert, and N for Nezers. N for Nezer stain, Nezer stain, right? It's very simple. Pan for metachromatic granules. Individually, we'll talk about in corneal diphtheria. A lot of questions can be asked. See, from just seeing this picture, you can say, what pattern is this? Chinese, le Chinese letter. Chinese letter was a question. They can ask. And then what are other names for metachromatic granules? Your metachromatic granules is otherwise called as Babes Ernest. Babes Ernest. Okay. Er Ernest. And other name is uh, metaphosphatase granules, metaphosphate granules, volutin granules, so many names. So this will talk when the individual uh, organism, uh, diphtheria may will talk. But now remember, PAN is the special stain for metachromatic granules of cornebatrium diphtheria. P for ponder, A for Albert, N for nasal. PAN, 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 PAN for cornebatrium diphtheria. Okay. Uh, so, malachite green, uh, it, uh, it's you for staining the spores, you can use mal malachite green. Okay, that's just to, just for remember. Okay, that's it. Now, gram stain and the acid for stain are important question asked. How do we stain it? How do we stain the acid, gram stain and the acid for stain? Okay, so first of all, gram stain, who invented it? Christian gram. Acid first is invented by Paul Ehrlich. Paul Ehrlich. Okay. In uh, Paul Ehrlich, there are a few things. Uh, we, when you talked about the Paul Ehrlich in the previous class, I told he's the father of chemotherapy. Apart from the chemotherapy, Paul Ehrlich, he did something called SATS. He cleared the SATS exam. SATS ka matlab kya hai? He invented the Salvarsan drug. And A for, he invented the, which one? He invented the acid fast stain. Acid fast stain. And T for, he invented the toxin, antitoxin concept. Taxin, antitoxin concept. Okay. And yes, uh, toxin, antitoxin. And yes for side theory of antibodies. Side theory of antibodies. Side theory of antibodies. He only invented this. So, SATS exam. Paul Ehrlich, which is the father of chemotherapy, invented not only father of chemotherapy, but also he did SATS. He cleared the SATS exam. And yes, stands for Salvarsan, A for acid for staining, T for toxin, antitoxin, neutralized uh, concept. And then yes, for side theory of the antibody. Very simple. SATS exam. Paul, see, Louis Pasher ke paas kya tha? Car tha. Car wash. Liquid wash. Uh, Robert Koch ke paas kya tha? Robert Koch is having a stained cat hanging from the solid. But uh, uh, Paul Ehrlich is the father of chemotherapy. He didn't start, stop there. He also did a SATS. He cleared the SATS exam. Okay. SATS S for Salvation, A for acid stain, T for toxin antitoxin concept, and another S for side theory of antibody. Very simple, easy. You will remember if you remember the shortcut there, you no need to remember everything. Option may sub kuch hota hai. Aapka ye, this concept, you know, this, this shortcut, crazy things, you know, you just have to remember and easily it will come. I guarantee you, micro is very easy. You will not have to suffer at all. Believe me. Believe me. Okay. And I will try to do my best to help you guys. Primary uh, structure is you're going to stain here the cell wall and there it's mycolic acid. That's what we call it as what? Acid fast stain, right? Now, I'll, I'll Zil Nelson. Zil Nelson may this modified and non modified car. That will talk uh, not that important here. Just remember need Zil Nelson or acid fast stain. Okay. Now, primary stain. Primary stain here is the crystal violet. Crystal violet. Crystal violet or also it's called gentian violet. Both are right. Gentian violet hmm. here in acid for the primary stain is what carbol fuction carbol fuction f u s h in carbol fuction primary stain right primary stain then now comes the second stain modern what is the modern simply iodine you use a grams iodine grams iodine is the modern but here in acid for staining it is not the chemical what you do you do intermittent heating this is a question can be asked everything is a question this this part you have to know no other option intermittent heating you have to heat intermittently. No, don't add iodine. You are intermittent heating. And decolorizer here, you use what? Acetone or alcohol. Acetone or alcohol. Here it is what? Very important. What is that? What is that? You are going to use 25% H2SO4. This is important question. Sulfuric acid. Okay. Very important. Frequently asked. Secondary stain would be here. What I'm going to use? Safranine. Safranine. But here I'm using methylene blue. Methylene blue. Now, you might have a picture-based question here. 
So you guys now going to tell me what is this? What is this three picture? Can you tell me what are these two stains? This is a these two are gram stain. So I'm seeing a violet color. So it is a violet color means gram positive. Positive people are violet or purple, whatever. Violet or purple color. Positive people are violet. Negative people have gusa people. Negative people are gram negative people are pink. They are angry. Negative people it's now gusa hota hai. So it was pink color. So remember ne gram negative. Oh, to ye to kokai hai. Here you see the gram positive kokai you see. Or it can be wrought. Usually kokai we, uh, in the picture you will get kokai. Gram negative is usually wrought we get. There, there are gram negative kokai also but then uh, the wrought are more common. So easy, very easy. So you will not miss this gram negative. Uh, this is a gram negative bacilli and that's a gram positive cocaine. This is a cocaine. That's it. Okay. So pink color, uh, violet means always violet color. Violet people are positive or purple are positive. The pink color is always angry. They go say, like them face red, pink, pinky. Okay. Got it. Now, what is the next one? Niche wala. What is this one? This is the, this is ideally, this is ideally what you call, that is the, uh, the, the one which you see here. You can see acid for that is the acid first thing. So acid first, tell me what is there? That is basically you. The background is you see the background is methylene blue. If you see here, this background is methylene blue, and then the bacilli you see inside is what it is the it is the yes it is the beaded appearance beaded red color bacilli. That is the question you have to say. That's a beaded red color bacilli. So this is this is this one you're seeing here. That is the beaded. Red or pink, that doesn't matter. We can say red or pink, both are red. Okay, beaded, pink or red color, bacilli. Red color, bacilli. What is this? Is This is the acid first stain. This is the acid first stain. Acid first stain. That is your Zeal Nielsen or whatever, or Zeal Nielsen. Zeal Nielsen stain for TB, right? This is a TB. Got it? So this is acid first stain, this is a gram stain. Now, acid first organisms are important. So I told you decolorizer H2SO4, 25 percentage we're using it for 25 percentage we're using for which one 20 percent we're using it for mycobacterium tb what about five percentage question mycobacterium lepre and one percentage for lot of organisms one is your nocardia nocardia is an acid for these all are acid first organism question is asked which of the following are acid first okay so these are acid first nocardia and in parasites, a lot of parasites which are acid first, where we're using 1% H2 as a decolorizer. What are they? They are important in the, which one? HIV. Crypto, sporidium, most common cause of diarrhea in HIV patient. And isospora, cyclospora, and tinea saginata segment, tinea saginata segments. And one more is your Hooklets of hooklets of hook, hooklets of your hydrated system. Echinococcus. Right? That's it. This is for your one percentage. 0 0.5 percentage. You see five to S Jesa hai. Five is like S, right? Like this, this. So two S. What are 0 0.5 percentage? Spores and your spermatozoa. Bus. Okay. We use 0 0.5 percentage of h That's it. So this is for the acid first stain, right? Now we see the gram positive gram negative organism. How to remember? It's very important again. Shortcut is simple. Ye gram positive gram negative organism ka shortcut aagya to. There are two clues. One, Supreme Court MLA is a nice person is one thing. SC ka MLA is SC Supreme Court MLA is nice or positive is one thing. Other one is McDonald's. McDonald's is best easy. Okay. So uh, McDonald's how to remember? Let's start. Oh, I, I love this. You know, when you when you talk about uh, this organisms, uh, I enjoy it. That's what bacteriology is super duper funny. If anyone is saying, wow, microbacteria is too much. I can't take it. No, you're making a mistake. It's easy. Just a lot of fun way to remember. So remember like what I'm teaching you, you will never ever forget. Okay. Now let's start with yum. Yum, 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 yum for. So I told you positive means they are what color? They are usually purple in color. So let me go to purple color then. Okay. That will be more better. So what are the purple color? So if it's purple color, M for M for mycobacterium TB. Mycobacterium TB. A for actino. Acnomyces. Acnomyces. And C for there are two A. One is acnomyces, another A for anthrox. Okay. Anthrox. Don't forget. And C for clostridium. Clostridium. There are 
to see Clostridium cornebatrium, but because B is here, I'm not going to bring this. This is diphtheria. So that is cornebacterium diphtheria, right? That is full name is cornebacterium diphtheria. Cornebacterium diphtheria. And N for your N for no cardia. No cardia and acnomyces are like almost friends. Okay, they're almost friends. L for your listeria. L is a listeria. And uh, your uh, yes for uh, anthraxis, bacillus anthraxis, right? When you say anthrax, it's a bacillus anthraxis. And two S, very, very important. They are the only cocci. Rest all are, all are bacilli. And cocci may what? You know, that is staphylo, caucus, and strepto, caucus. See, very simple, very easy. And frequently asks these two only. Staphylo and Stepto because only gram post And of course, uh, Listeria few times they ask. It doesn't matter. You know, you know. McDonald's. If you're positive, go to McDonald's. If you're positive, I mean, all, all the positive people go to McDonald's. Positive people go to positive people. Positive people, they go to McDee's, McDonald's, McDonald's. Okay. Rest all will be your negative, gram negative. Yes, all the microbes in your bacteriology will be negative. Itna hi hai. So, McDonald's yaad kuro, dousra pura apne apne aa jayega. Okay. The, I mean, of course, in Koke me, I told Stephylo, Stephylo is a gram positive. This gram negative Koke which are Nazeria. Nazeria gonorrhea, Nazeria meningitis. Okay. And Streptococcus pneumonia also. Streptococcus, Streptococcus. Uh, yeah, I mean, Streptococcus pneumonia and virulence. Uh, all this, no, I'm, I'm talking about Streptococcus will come in the gram positive. Streptococcus, all Streptococcus. But Nazeria ka... Nizeria, that is the gonococcus and meningococcus, the diplococcus or gram negative cocci. Those are the gram negative cocci. Otherwise, all the cocci are gram positive. Step low, step low. Bas, okay. okay, now, bacterial growth curve. Bacterial growth curve has a little bit of importance. If you see, there are phases. Lag phase, exponential phase is otherwise called log phase, lag, log, stationary, death phase. So, lag may kuch hota hai, just bacteria is there. Exponential phase, they start to divide and divide and they grow. And then they become big. In stationary phase, is important. This is the phase where Yes, for spores are forming stationary and also toxin. Okay, yes, T. Okay, yes, T for spores and toxin. That you should remember. Spores and toxin. Yes, P. Yeah. Uh, spores and toxin. That's it. Okay. Spores and toxin work in the stationary phase. And the dead phase means the batteries start to die. That's it. Now, the bacteria replicate reproduces by binary fission. One bacteria split into two. One split into two, right? The generation time. The time taken by bacteria to double in the number, that's called the generation time. Usually, the generation time for bacteria, the generation time is a question. They can ask questions in the generation time. What are they? Usually, how long it takes? It takes 15 minutes. It's a rule of 15. I would say rule of 15, okay? 15 minutes, 15 to 20. But you remember 15 minutes for all bacteria to one bacteria divided into two, right? Generation time. For TB, it is 15 hours. For microbiome left brain, it is 15 days. Plus minus, ho sakta hai, but remember all 15. Generation time is 15, 15, 15. 15 minutes, 15 hours, 15 days. Okay, 15 days. That's it. Order me. Okay? Minutes, hours, and days for microbiome left brain. 15 days. Okay. Now, next, bacterial classification based on the oxygen requirement. Very, uh, very easy. No need to think too much. When you talk about the obligate aerobes, what are the obligate aerobes you remember? Microbiotum TB, the number one, number one. That's what you see whenever there's oxygen uh, cavity there, the TB curve, favorite place, it grows, right? Microbiotum TB. And then what else you know? Obligate aerobe, your Vibrio. Vibrio. And then your pseudo, pseudo monas, And of course, your bacillus anthrax is also. You can add. These are the aerobes. Anaerobes, what are they? Clostridium should first come in your mind. Clostridium means it's anaerobic, obligate anaerobic. And with Clostridium also bacteroides. Bacteroides. Bacteroides, which is in your intestine. The most common, the biggest anaerobic in the uh, most common, uh, the, the common cell, which is in your intestine, you can say. Right? And then after that comes your actino, actinomyces. Right? So, no, uh, and then, yeah, no cardio also will come in the obligate aerobe. Uh, it's okay, not that much asked, but acnomyces in the anaerobe. Okay, then what else? Facultative anaerobe, your whole enterobacteriaceae family. Enterobacteriaceae family is facultative. That means most medically important bacteria like your E. coli, your Klebsiella, enterobacter, proteus, 
retrobacter so big group is there so they all are facultative anaerobes means they can survive both the conditions okay important micro aerophilic is many times repeated question you must have seen i'm sure micro aerophilic which which one two h pylori and campylobacter jejuni the one which causes bull and bear syndrome yeah h pylori and campylobacter jejuni capnophilic capnophilic is which are the capnophilic Bruce Lee, Brucella. Brucella is capnophilic. Another one, your Campylobacter again, Campylobacter jejuni also. And the three important things Streptococcus, pneumonia, and your H. pylori. At least these two, which is meningitis causing, they are capnophilic. They need CO2 for. 5 to 10 percent. That's also a question. 5 to 10 percentage here, 5 percent or 2. Here this thing. Brucella, Campylobacter, Streptococcus pneumonia, and H. pylori. They all are capnophilic. Okay. Based on the temperature requirement, excuse me. We have uh, skyrophiles, mesophiles, thermophiles. Skylos, they show thermophiles. So skyrophiles are usually saprophytes, less than only saprophytes uh, grow in the less than uh, 20 degrees. Mesophiles. Most medically important, medically important pathogens, they grow or bacteria, they grow, that is mesophiles. Okay, mesophiles, they're 25 to 40 degrees. Thermophiles, there is one important thing you must be knowing by this time. What is that? Bacteria, bacillus, sterothermophilus. What is this? Spores of this is used as indicator indicator biological indicator in autoclave very much repeated question this is the spores of this basis anthrax is used as indicator for autoclave okay that's that's what the name is thermo again stero thermo 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 because i know you know this definitely you know this because that is a question you can't miss it definitely you can expect that question right okay now uh now uh, almost we are uh, we finished the temperature part yes now the genetics part genetic i'll just brief it uh, uh, so what is here Gen bacterial genetics very may mainly important for antimicrobial resistance okay that's important role what how the uh, uh, how does a bacteria acquire the resistance either bacterial gene transfer or through mutation mutation we're not touching we're talking about transfer transfer can happen vertically that means bacteria spread uh, uh, mother bacteria giving to the daughter bacteria or horizontal horizontal from one bacteria to another two different mechanisms what are those mechanisms conjugation transformation and transduction in that what's a plasmid plasmid is simply an extra chromosomal material if you see the, if you see a bacteria cytoplasm if you take a bacteria cytoplasm right this is a bacteria if you see this is new uh, the nuclear material outside the free you know the extra chromosomal circular DNA, double stranded rna is the plasmid so this plasmid when it combines with the chromosomal dna when they mix plasmid and the chromosomal dna this one and this one they to mix together then it becomes a epizone combination becomes the epizone okay mixing so that now class of plasmid, we have plasmid and the R plasmid, pol plasmid and virulence plasmid, different types. So have plasmid means fertility. So that means this is this is an important question. Have plasmid has an important role in forming the sex phyllite that forms the conjugation tube, conjugation tube. That's it. R for resistance. It's for code for the resistance of antibody. Coal for the substance called bacteriosins. Bacteriosins like colicin, pyosin by the, uh, uh, this is by the pseudomonas, diphtheriosin by permitum diphtheria. So those are coal plasmids. And virulence plasmid are for the toxins. You know. So conjugation. Uh, you can see the picture itself. will explain you better. What is here? Conjugation means one bacteria sending its genetic this plasmid is sent to the another bacteria by what? Conjugation tube. Sex pilot conjugation tube, or we call it as a sex pilot. Okay, sex pilot transformation means they are acquiring the free DNA. The bacteria it's taking the free DNA from the environment, environment, and it's getting the resistance. A lot of bacteria comes in this list also, right? And transduction means in transduction, the important thing is what this is a question. Important thing is this one the bacteriophage. Bacteriophage. It transducts the plasmid from one bacteria to another. I mean, it goes to one bacteria, takes it, and then give it to another bacteria like that. Okay, donor recipient. So bacteriophage is important role. Transduction. This is important for Staphylococcus drug resistance. Staphylococcus is in, this transduction process is very important in antibody resistance. Staphylococcus question. Reduction is not that important. You don't have to. Uh, we, but of course, it's like a transposon we have. They will show you now. So conjugation we talked. Sex tube, male, female. 
uh, and then transformation is uptake from the free environment. So these are for the transformation. Every almost every bacteria is transferred, taking from the environment. Strepto, Neisseria, Haemophilus, Haemophilus, and then uh, Griffith, uh, Griffith. Excuse me. Yeah, and then uh, uh, this Griffith demonstrated the uh, pneumococci in this, but through the transformation process. We'll talk about that. This Griffith experiment is basically in a mice you're injecting the what pneumococcus ka. Uh, strain and we are seeing the mice uh, when if there's antibody what happened when there's no antibody what happened that is a Griffith uh, experiment we're doing okay not a Griffith one the Griffith classification you you see it where you see it in the streptococcus based on the M protein GM GM right that is different streptococcus scalia that forget about it that we'll talk later and then transduction I told you it is by the bacteriophage which virus is important role bacteriophage bacteriophage is the one doing this bacteriophage and that's a question i told and then the drug resistance which is most common method in streptococcus aureus that's because of transduction and transposons of the last one there's basically spoons transposition means they're transposition transposons because jumping genes they what they do they jump from one place to another place all the time the dna segments you know they carry the genes for this process they move from one that's what they call jumping gene from one segment to another segment they move see like this they are here and then from here it goes to the another interface DNA. so this is the uh transpose and transpose okay that's all we are almost finishing the general bacteriology okay nice nice to uh, go fast guys i mean yeah more revision will come in future it'll be more more fun so you will not get any chance that you know you'll miss anything okay thank you thank you so much